This is my simple and easy recipe for a beautiful breakfast dish called French toast. It's not too difficult, so I hope you like it. It all starts with some basic ingredients. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to everything so you have all the measurements and details. I've used a flat dish, sort of like a pie pan, just to make it easier to whip my batter in. It's easier when I dip my bread instead of a bowl. It starts by cracking my eggs into my pan and whisking them up. It just makes it easier if I do this so when I add the other ingredients, it doesn't splatter. So I add my cinnamon, I add a pinch of salt, not too much, and then all the milk and I just whisk it all together. It might seem like a lot, but it does come together. You just whisk away. I've added more cinnamon because I love the flavor and I like these little bits of clumps in my French toast. I think it adds more texture, but if you don't want these big cinnamon chunks, you could blend it in a food processor or just use less of the cinnamon. It'll still be just as tasty. It's entirely up to you. Grease your pan and then dunk your bread into your batter. Let it soak up on either side um, just so that it catches all that batter and then drain the excess and pop it in your pan. I would suggest using old bread, preferably two days old or something that's been in the refrigerator. It just comes out better. Now it's been cooking for about two minutes on either side and when it moves like this you know it's done. So then you can just flip it to the other side and you can see it crisping up and starting to get goldeny brown so you know it's cooking. So I like it a little bit crispy like this where you can see it's got brown bits. It's not burnt but I just like to cook it a little bit longer. Um, you can cook it for as much time or as little as you like, it's up to you. Like these were much lighter but I let the other ones sit on the pan for longer because I feel the flavor is more intense. And then you can just stack them up or you can serve them on a plate like I did. I like to drizzle some honey because there's no sugar in the batter itself. I like to just use natural honey as a sweetener. I did sprinkle some icing sugar but that was more for video aesthetics than everything. I never put sugar in my French toast but that's entirely up to you. Sprinkled it with a little bit of nuts and voila, that is my easy peasy French toast. I've also used brown bread but please use whatever you like. So I hope you like this. Please subscribe for a lot more videos coming to you soon.